Hi, Seth Green here from the Financial Advisor Marketing Program. Welcome back to the seven secrets to highly effective financial advisor marketing. We are here on secret number six, referral promotion. Now we've all heard in our careers, if you've been in financial services any length of time, that you need to get more referrals, you need to get business from referrals, your client should be giving you all your new business. Um, it's not that easy. Um, let's see, there's a ton. Uh, if you type in uh, into Google, uh, like referral marketing or uh, referral systems, even referral systems for financial advisors, there are literally thou tens of thousands of, of websites and products that you can buy that purport to do that in books, you name it. I mean, there's a lot of things taught in our industry. I mean, think about this. Have you been taught any of these um, to tell your clients, I get paid in two ways. One is by how many people I help. Uh, that one doesn't work. Have you been taught um, to ask, who else do you know with a million dollars to invest whose husband just died? Um, you know, that doesn't work. If you've been um, taught to have it on the back of your business card or to mention or have a plaque on your desk that says the highest compliment you can pay me is the referral of a friend or family member, uh, that one doesn't work. So why? Why doesn't it work? And how can you make it work? Um, well, first of all, think about if you ask for referrals, what does that make? Or here, here's another one. This is a good one. Um, I don't spend any of my money on marketing, so I don't want to spend any of my time looking for new business. I want to spend all my time working on your account. In order to do that, I need you to be my marketing department. That's a good one, right? Um, and the prospect, the clients just say, sure, I'll be your marketing department. Here's my whole address book. Talk to everybody I know. It doesn't work that way. So think about it. When you ask for referrals when you like that, what do you sound like? I mean, you sound like a salesperson, and you sound like you need the business. I mean, God, my first couple of years in the business when I tried that, um, I, I, I literally had a client call me and go, are, are, are you still going to be my financial advisor? And I said, what do you mean? Well, I got this letter that you sent me asking me for referrals. Sounds like you need business. I want to make sure you're going to be around, but I don't want to refer someone if you're just going to quit. I mean, I mean, it can backfire on you. Um, so you can't. You don't want to look like a just salesperson who needs the business, but you want to get referrals anyway. So how do you do it? Um, the way we teach at the Financial Advisor Marketing Program is every client, theoretically, just like Paul Meyer taught, um, and he has a great CD called Prospect Your Way to Millions, and every client should start an endless chain of referrals, because if every client gives you a referral, and that referral becomes a client, or it gives you two when you close one, and then that person gives you two when you close one, theoretically, that goes forever. And it's all well and good and a great idea, but how do you turn that into reality? So what we teach at Financial Advisor Marketing Program is a referral promotion concept. First of all, you have to promote a referral that you're a referral-based practice. But the concept we call warm, fuzzy, hard ask. Um, and we do it on a two-to-one ratio. We've tested it tons of different ways, and this is the one that works the best. So first of all, what's a warm, fuzzy? A warm, fuzzy would be a, let's say, a happy Valentine's Day card that just says, just wanted to let drop you a note, let you know how, how much I love getting to serve you. That's it. It's warm and fuzzy, makes them think happy thoughts about you and doesn't ask them for anything. That's a warm fuzzy. A hard ask would be for Valentine's Day, happy Valentine's Day, who do you know who doesn't love their financial advisor? Um, for every referral you send us in the month of Valentine's Day, we'll give you a gift certificate to a restaurant or we'll give you a pearl necklace, whatever the gift is. So that is a hard ask because you are directly asking, promoting referrals. But you're doing, you're not calling them up and begging. You're doing it through a cute, clever, funny, direct mail promotional piece. And you can't just send that by itself. So you have to do two warm fuzzies and then do one hard ask. The two warm fuzzies earn you, soften them up and earn you the right for the hard ask. So. How often do you do them? You do them, so for example, you would do two months of warm fuzzy. So let's say January would be a happy new year warm fuzzy. February would be a happy Valentine's Day warm fuzzy. March would be a hard ask for referrals. When you do two to one in a row, it works. If you just do hard asks, it won't work and they'll stop opening your mail and stop responding because they think you're always trying to get something. But if you do two months of warm fuzzies in a row, it's just the right amount of material where you're in front of them, they think it's cute and clever, they've had two months of happy thoughts about you before you ask for something. And then they refer, refer a whole lot better. Um, also, you'll see that below if you follow the link, um, there is a webinar link to a webinar where I did a one-hour interview with legendary referral coach Bill Cates, who is a best-selling author and speaker in our industry. And he actually has referral products that I use that actually work, um, that are not cheesy, um, that actually work well. So we recommend his stuff as well. You can feel free to download that for free. 
and we'll see you tomorrow for secret number seven of highly effective financial advisor marketing. And if you're looking for a way to get all of these campaigns done for you, check us out at financialadvisormarketingprogram.com.